Eugene Melnick is obviously still seething over City Council's decision to designate Rideau Carlton Raceway as the only gaming site in the city of Ottawa. In an interview in, on a Toronto radio station, the Senator's owner lashed out at Mayor Jim Watson and Deputy Mayor Steve DeRoche. Melnick also described the Rideau Carlton Raceway track as a tiny C track, adding he wouldn't head to the South End facility without an army. Melnick says he just wants a chance to bid for the gaming license. I don't care if I win, lose, or draw. Just do it right. Do a competition. It's like you're not the only guys in the race. And let's see if you can stand on your own. If I lose, I lose. That's okay. I go home and uh, come up with some, you know, a plan C. Right now there's no plan C. Can we survive? You know what? It all depends how the team does. It all depends. Uh, can we find a third revenue source? Earlier this week, Senators President Cyril Leader resigned from four city committees because of council's decision to designate the raceway as the only gaming site in Ottawa. Three people are facing charges in connection with an East End swarming. On Monday, the male victim was walking from the pedestrian overpass at the Blair Transit Station when he says he was surrounded by three men. One of the suspects produced a large knife and demanded the victim's cell phone. The suspects were located a short time later by OC Transpo security and arrested without incident. 21-year-old Jordan McDonald of Ottawa and two young offenders have been charged with robbery with an offensive weapon. The search continues for two suspects after a woman was sexually assaulted while out for a walk with her baby. The OPP says the woman was walking on a trail Monday when she was grabbed by two men, forced to the ground and assaulted. Anyone with information is asked to contact Hawkesbury OPP. Post-secondary students are being offered a discount bus pass during the summer, but OC Transpo is not willing to lift the age cap on student passes. After a meeting with student groups yesterday, Mayor Jim Watson announced OC Transpo will offer the $184 U-Pass for the four-month term. The Ottawa Student Transit Commission also wants OC Transpo to eliminate the age cap on student bus passes. Students older than 19 whose schools don't offer the U-Pass must pay the adult fare to use OC Transpo. Well, the truth may be out there, but for a permit for a party in Orleans is still on hold. Hundreds are expected to attend an event Friday night celebrating the anniversary of the X-Files. It's planned for the intersection named after the show's stars, Mulder and Scully. But Councillor Stephen Bless says City Hall hasn't approved it yet, noting the party will shut down a busy street. The University of Heart Institute, University of Ottawa Heart Institute rather, will announce its new president and CEO today. The announcement will be made at 10 a.m. The new president and CEO will replace Dr. Ro Bob Roberts, who is stepping down in March. Roberts was appointed head of the Heart Institute in 2004. A stray deer in downtown Ottawa caught the attention of passers-by. The deer had been spotted wandering in nearby bushes yesterday and then dove into the canal when the NCC conservation officers arrived. They were able to catch up to the animal, tranquilize it and get it out of the canal safely. It's tough because uh, they have a lot of energy, they're, they're a strong animal, and they certainly don't want to get caught or touched by us. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, it took, took three of us to get him in the boat, and uh, he's in a safer place now. The NCC says the deer was transported to a less urban area in the south end. And consumers will soon have their choices of a new iPhone. Apple took the wraps off two versions of the new device in California. The iPhone 5S will have a faster processor, fancier camera, and a fingerprint scanner for better security. The iPhone 5C will be a cheaper model made from colorful plastic. It's the same phone, they just made it thin. Like It's been years, it's the same thing. I don't care much about the smartphones, to be honest. Apple is just overhyped. I think I'd go with the Samsung. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Both new iPhones go on sale a week from Friday.